Hey guys, Mike with Financeable here. It's Friday, which means it's time to answer the weekly challenge question. This week's question is a finance puzzle question. This type of question pops up a lot in interviews where people will hand you bits and pieces of information and your job is to take that information and figure out what you can make with it to ultimately answer their question. More specifically, our question is, we have a company with $20 of interest expense, 20 of net income, 100 of cash, 50 of EBITDA, a 5% cost of debt, 25 times PE multiple, and the question we're trying to answer here is whether or not the EV to EBITDA multiple is greater or less than 10 times. Now let's start with the question we're trying to answer here. What we need is to calculate an EV to EBITDA multiple. We've been given EBITDA, so we're good there, but we need to calculate enterprise value, and to do that we need equity, debt, and cash. Now we have cash, so we really just need equity and debt. So we're now down to two things that we need to find. So let's work through finding those items, debt and equity, one by one. To start with, we'll look for debt. Now we have $20 of interest expense and a 5% cost of debt. And so we can take our interest expense, divide by the interest rate or cost of debt to calculate to the debt that we have. We can then work on equity value. We have a 25 times PE ratio. $20 of net income, and so we can multiply those out to get to our equity value. So let's go down a little further. Let's pull in our equity value, pull in our debt. We've already got cash because that was given in the question, and we can add all these up and get to $800 of enterprise value. We were given EBITDA, and we have enterprise value. So we can now calculate the multiple. So let's go down a little further. We'll pull in our enterprise value. We'll calculate our multiple by dividing enterprise value by EBITDA. And the enterprise value to EBITDA multiple is 16 times, which means that the multiple is greater than 10 times. So the answer to the question was the multiple will be greater than 10 times. So hopefully this is a little bit more clear now. Uh, with that completed, I hope you all have a nice weekend.